pronouns part 1 in this module let us understand about pronouns as the name suggests pronouns are used in the place of nouns by definition a pronoun is any word that can be used in place of a noun let us understand this by an example let us look at this sentence johnny plays very well He has scored a century in the previous match. Johnny is being replaced by he, which is a pronoun in the second sentence. So instead of again repeating Johnny in the second sentence, it is advisable to use a pronoun that refers to Johnny in the previous sentence. If the sentence would have been Johnny plays very well, Johnny has scored a century in the previous match. The sentence looks clumsy. Hence the second Johnny can be replaced by a pronoun he referring to Johnny. Now let us understand personal pronouns as subjects. These pronouns refer to one of the three persons of English. The persons in English language are classified as first person, second person and third person. The first person refers to the person or persons speaking. Now if we look at the figure, the first figure shows the first person form of pronoun I. The second person form of pronoun you. The third figure shows the third person form of pronoun he. Now let us further understand them with examples. I am playing right now. Here, the first person singular pronoun I is used as I refers to the person who is speaking. You are a good carpenter. Here, the second person singular pronoun you is used. Here, you is representing the person being spoken to. He is a naughty boy. Here the third person singular he pronoun is used. Here he is representing the person being spoken of. Let us summarize this by a table. In the singular form, the first person form of pronoun will be I. Second person form of pronoun will be you. Third person form of pronoun will be he, she. Similarly, in the plural form, the first person form of pronoun will be we. Second person form of pronoun will be you. And the third person form of pronoun will be they. from examination point of view this table is very important so it is advisable to learn this table we have seen how the personal pronouns were the subjects of sentences personal pronouns can also be the objects of sentences the following table lists the different forms of the personal pronouns when they are the objects of sentences Let us look at this table. In the singular form, the first person form of personal pronoun as the object will be me. In this sentence, Saurabh is looking at me. Me is the object of the sentence. In the plural form, the first person form personal pronoun as the object will be us. The police have called us for interrogation. Here us is the object in the sentence. Similarly, in the singular form, the second person form personal pronoun as the object will be you. Sneha is calling you. Here you is the object of the sentence. In the plural form, 